Hello! In this video we will evaluate secant of inverse sine of negative 3 over 7 and we will do this without the use of a calculator. To the left we have some information that will help us solve this problem and to find the value of this expression we will look at what we have inside the parentheses which is inverse sine of negative 3 over 7. The range of the inverse sine function is anything from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. So inverse sine of negative 3 over 7 is an angle and we will call it theta and this interval from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2 whose sine is negative 3 over 7. So we will write that theta equals inverse sine of negative 3 over 7. Then sine of theta equals negative 3 over 7. Now because the range of the inverse sine function is any angle from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2, we see that angle theta is either in quadrant 4 or in quadrant 1. If we take a look at the sines of trigonometric functions, we see that in quadrant 1, sine is positive, but in quadrant 4, sine is negative. In our problem, sine of theta is a negative number, therefore angle theta will be in quadrant 4. Now to solve this problem without a calculator, we will have the rectangular coordinate system and we will draw a triangle in quadrant 4. So here we have the rectangular coordinate system and angle theta will have the vertex at the origin and the initial side along the positive x-axis. Now from the definition of trigonometric functions, sine of theta is y over r, where y could be positive or negative depending on the quadrant, while r is always positive. Then to the right, where sine of theta is negative 3 over 7, we can say that y is negative 3 and r is 7. Now with this information, in quadrant 4 we will draw a right triangle. So here we have the right triangle where y is negative 3 and the hypotenuse r is 7. Now angle theta is the angle that we need to use to find the value of secant. So again, we need to find the value of secant of angle theta. By definition, secant of angle theta is r over x. So again, secant of angle theta is r over x and we know that r is 7. Now to find x in this right triangle, we will use the Pythagorean theorem. And keeping in mind that in quadrant 4 x is positive, we will have x equals square root of r squared minus y squared. Then x equals square root of 7 squared minus negative 3 squared. 49 minus 9 is 40, so x equals square root of 40. And we can simplify this radical by writing 40 as a product of 4 and 10. And square root of 4 is 2, then x equals 2 square root of 10. And now let's replace to find secant. We will replace r with 7 and x with 2 square root of 10. We can also rationalize the denominator by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by square root of 10. Then the result will be 7 square root of 10 over 20. So here square root of 10 times square root of 10 is 10 and 10 times 2 is 20. And now we can say that secant of inverse sine of negative 3 over 7 equals 7 square root of 10 over 20. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a like and come back for more math.